Concrete's a evolving product. It's a great deal different from how it was 20, 30 years ago. The timber didn't deliver what we wanted, so we're immediately down the path of concrete. I think every house built in New Zealand is going to have concrete in it in some way. In New Zealand, from a concrete perspective, is recognised as a leader coming up with new ideas, new innovations. If I was building a new house, I'd like the concrete for the structural qualities, thermal qualities, and for its design usage. We still get people sitting outside the house and look at it because it is different and it does have that sort of wow factor. Concrete, you do it once, you know you do it right. Look around any streets in New Zealand and you'll find Kiwis coming home to concrete. Hi, I'm Kevin Milne and like me, most people don't give a second thought to the cement and concrete that's used to build their house. So, what are the advantages? Let's talk to some experts about building with concrete from the floor up. Yes, yeah, so we've basically got another six rods. We always use concrete on every job. 30 years ago when we started, we were mainly doing domestic foundations with timber piles and a concrete ring beam. Today, we've advanced into concrete slabs, concrete walls, concrete block walls, intermediate floors and beams. So the advantages of concrete has become far more versatile over this period. Design parameters have been uh, opened a lot wider. Concrete's got some really good aspects associated with it. It's very strong in compression. It's a very durable material. It doesn't rot, it doesn't break down, it doesn't rust. It's got good fire resistance characteristics as well. There's a whole number of reasons why concrete is a very good uh, building material. Concrete's fire resistance is second to none. Concrete doesn't burn, it can't be set on fire, and it helps preserve life and minimise damage. And that's what sets it apart. We need the, the properties that concrete gives us, which is, which is good spans, good retaining, good strength. We use concrete a lot for that. Pouring is best done under certain weather conditions. So if the builder, if they follow those guides, then you're going to end up with a fantastic product. Prior to any concrete being poured on site, the council needs to inspect to make sure the reinforcing is in place, to make sure that the waterproof membrane has been put down underneath the slab. The new licensing is ensuring the quality of workmanship that these builders are putting out, that you will be held personally responsible for the life of that job. There are stringent checks in place to ensure the builders are putting the concrete in correctly. Oh, I hadn't built in precast concrete before. Every panel went in without any problem. It all went together a bit like a jigsaw. This would be classified as a sort of second highest wind zone for New Zealand and the high earthquake zone. So yes, you have to design for those factors. We've had high winds since, since the tower's been up there. It's pretty windy at the, at the top. If you had a timber structure, it would creak and groan and, and probably sway slightly. This is entirely stable. There's no movement. So the building has been designed for a 500 year return time uh, ground acceleration. We're pretty sure that you, you'd be safe in this building and even get out from the top of the tower. Concrete homes are amongst the safest and most durable types of structures during an earthquake. Concrete, in combination with New Zealand-made reinforcing steel, provides outstanding structural and seismic performance. For some people, coming home to a conventional house just isn't enough. They want to come home to something different. When we started looking for a house, we were looking for something that was a little bit different. This one really stuck out. Every concrete finish in the, in the side of this property is different. It's designed so that you can look at the walls and get a different idea of what you could do with different concrete. For instance, on the back wall, we've got a, a brushed block wall, and then we've got the polished concrete on the floor, and then we've got a stipple finish on these walls here. 
So one of the beauties of it is you can look around the architecture of the house and every wall is a different concrete finish of some description. Very important in the early stages for the client to understand about concrete. It is very versatile, it's very solid, thermally very good and can give you a lot more freedom for, for design. Also, it can give them a lot more structural strength of a home than building out of timber. Concrete is often perceived as a cold material, uh, but it's actually got quite a lot of texture to it. Concrete gives us a great deal of creative license. We get to do things that you just can't do in standard timber framed building, whether it's thin floor slabs or a textured wall or an exposed aggregate concrete floor. Aesthetically, it gives us a great deal of flexibility when we're designing a house. Once the client's awareness of the potential of concrete becomes more established, that will enable us as architects to create new and interesting residential forms in New Zealand. Concrete is a great product because, you know, you can do so many different things with it. What will it look like? Will it have a rough finish? Will it have a polished finish? Will it be cut and grouted? Will it look like ceramic tile? So there's lots of different things that you can do with concrete and concrete products. Eight out of ten new homes in New Zealand have concrete slab floors. Interesting. There's got to be good reasons for that. So let's find out some more about concrete floors. Concrete's a great material, as we know. It's a metaphor for durability and permanence. Steel, on the other hand, that's got great strength and ductility. So if you combine the properties of both those things, as you do in a reinforced concrete floor, you get the best of both worlds. It's a real synergy, and it makes the perfect flooring material. As long as a slab is designed, engineered properly, there are generally no problems at all with concrete. It's there forever. The site we're on here has great advantages for the use of concrete. Timber, we would have to have the house sitting a lot higher for ground clearance, and that would come into the town planning and height restrictions. In this particular project, concrete slab would save half a metre of excavation and therefore height in the finished building. You get a beautiful product, um, a, a great finish, and there's not a great deal of excavation or labour involved in the final product. Now, a room doesn't have to be sterile and it's all solidly tiled, all solidly concreted. You can leave exposed those areas that um, get the sun most frequently. You can put rugs down to break it up to introduce a softness. Love with kids having the concrete floors because easy to clean up. Wet day, they can scoot around inside. Durable, they can pretty much crash into everything and it withstands a 10 and a 7 year old. You should have seen the carpet when we moved out of our previous houses. <laughs> you know, everything was spilt and kids dropped things and food and felt pens and stuff. These kids do anything in here and it just mops up, wipes up. I'm particularly pleased with the effect in here. First of all, we've got the lovely polished floor. For the floor, polished concrete. We like the finish, it's clean. Both Winifred and I suffer from hay fever, so we like a no-dust environment. Looks good, easy to keep clean. So, yeah, the floors are polished concrete. And the soundproofing, the soundproofing obviously yeah. works because the neighbours still talk to us. And um, we've, we know for sure, anyway, when we've had a party in here, I think Guy's 40th, we had a live band. And if you actually pull the door shut, you can actually go outside and you would not have realised what was going on inside. Timber, you know, if you have any special requirements for, for soundproofing, you know, you've got to do some tricks. But in concrete, you know, you can put up a concrete block wall and you know you'll, you'll hit an SDC rating every time. So it's a very, very good material for soundproofing. Many people believe that New Zealanders have lived in cold wooden tents for too long. There's got to be better options for living in warmer, more comfortable homes. People often don't understand that concrete can be a very warm material. It creates a thermal mass in the building which allows it to soak up the warmth in the sun during the day and slowly re release that at night. This means that you can save a huge amount of money on your energy bills. It's quite often hard to convince a client of that, but once they're living in the house, they'll never go back. The concrete's got thermal mass. That creates a much more constant temperature over time, and so it's cost effective. It can be very hot here in summer, and we get some pretty severe frosts in winter, so we're looking forward to that uh, environmental control.
Well, people walk in and they say, you've got no carpet, it must be cold. That, that's not actually the case. We've got the naked flame gas fireplace and along with the concrete, it just radiates the heat. Once the concrete's warm, it stays that way. It's a beautiful place to live. You can ask anyone that comes here. Um, our house is warm all year round. Obviously a nice place for a family to live. My house has got a concrete floor. We've got heating in the slab, which we've only put on twice. My mother, who was living in my um, house last year, uh, just kept insisting that the, uh, you know, that the heating was on, even in the winter, because she could just feel the heat just radiating out of that concrete. It just seemed ridiculous to have all these cold houses in New Zealand that we should use the free energy that comes from the sun. It's got to have a mechanism that can, can hold it and, and, and then release it later. Well, wooden houses um, don't do that. The concrete houses perform much better. Concrete floors means you can store the sun's heat, you can get the sun directly on them. So the trick is to get your glazing right, orientation right, and at the very least have a concrete floor. An important aspect of building with concrete that's always highly rated is its low maintenance. But just how low maintenance is it? Concrete provides a near complete finish. You put the walls up and the inside needs to be painted, outside needs to be painted, but you really don't have to do anything else to it. We did a farmhouse near Leaston and it was 100 years old, so it's probably had in dollars of the day. Uh, the equivalent of half a million dollars spent on just painting the outside. So a house built like this one, very little maintenance. It'll be here in centuries, there's no question about it. It's very low maintenance, but it's very durable and hard wear. Concrete is wonderful. Um, we don't have leaky building problem either. If this yeah. house was to leak, this house is not going to rot. So. We have had the shutters at the top of the stairs, they had rotted. You could see where that, the water had obviously been coming in. No yeah. damage to the house, put some new windows in, done. So, so good time. on the maintenance. Yeah, really good. House is probably good for another 250 years. What about concrete for the future? Well, I hear that affordable, easy to build options are being developed right now. Currently we have a small project looking at a residential three-bedroom house for an affordable price and in the average maybe a maximum 1% more expensive only than a traditional timber frame house. A home means actually A for affordable but means also attractive and attached to and affectionate and the concrete floor can absorb the heat and release it in the evening at night. The same actually to the walls. What the current A-home design shows is that simplicity of design doesn't limit or restrict the comfort or the functionality of the house. I'm really, really confident that with our research work and our projects, we will change the way we see think about residential homes. Seacans' role really is to provide answers to people, answers that will inform them about the concrete choices they have and the concrete futures being created by leading innovators. Yeah, you could modular adapt pieces to it. Concrete's been around for 10,000 years, and with ongoing advancement in concrete technology, that means it's going to be around for the next 10,000 years. Concrete's definitely here for the long haul, no question. Done once, done right, and it'll last, well, who knows, forever. Concrete's always permanent. As long as it's done to the design parameters, the engineering, the correct type of concrete in a suitable location, it will last forever. We've tailored our reinforcing steel to suit the New Zealand conditions. Yeah, the future looks really good for reinforced concrete floors. It means people can come home knowing they've got the absolute best material in the floors on their houses. We're looking at ways of using materials like concrete to create a more energy efficient home, one that lasts longer for both the current clients and the clients to come in the future. I tell people that um, this building is going to be here for 200 years. It's certainly being designed for that. That gives some satisfaction because it's durable and other people will come in and enjoy this building into the future. If you're you know, wanting this to be a family home for the long term, I think concrete is a great material to do that with.
concrete houses, you know, definitely there for the test of time. Concrete has been around for many, many years. The product seems to be getting better. It would stand the test of time, in my opinion, yeah. Concrete will um, be around for many more years to come. Well, I know a lot more about concrete now, but there's just so much to learn about the growing range of choices when building with concrete. So, just go to the Cement and Concrete Association of New Zealand website, they've got all the answers.